True Father was very providentially leading us on to Chun Ilguk victoriously. True Parents victoriously perfected the whole foundation for Chun Ilguk and for True Parents. That's why the last three years in Las Vegas, I had many opportunities to be there visiting with True Parents. And I was very surprised because I think many of the brothers and sisters and some of the family members who don't understand what's going on now, they don't know what happened in that last three years. In that last three years, True Parents really established forever the oneness and the perfect unity of True Parents. That's why the final speech that Father gave with that white book, you remember the white book? And when he had us all go to OSDP in Las Vegas, and then a couple of the seminars he gave every one of us the white book in Korean. And then we'd, we'd have to sit there at Hundoke many times and Father would be correcting or changing or enhancing each, each word. One day Father asked us, what's the most important thing in that speech? And we had different ideas, but we were all wrong. He said the most important sentence was in 2010, two times Father proclaimed that true parents have achieved per perfect unity, perfect oneness. And on that foundation, the perfection, completion, and the absolute authority of God and the substantiation and embodiment of God occurred from that moment. That's really huge. That's why true parents are one. And that's the most important thing I can share. True parents are one. And we are living in God's providence, but I think we have to really also, beyond this, this discussion today, we have to really grasp the trial that we have faced this time in providential history. It's the most serious trial facing America and facing God's providence. There is no more serious time than this. Uh, there were more serious times earlier on when Father had to overcome the cross, and he overcame. But we're at another crossroads right now. Because now, true parents' covering does not cover us anymore. True parents, when we were walking under true parents' covering, true parents had to establish everything. True parents were responsible for everything. We were their children. Their covering covered us. But a new providence began. And fathers transferred that responsibility to us. We are no longer simply under true parents' responsibility. We are now tribal messiahs. And therefore, to make one million couples, each one of us have the responsibility, without question, to achieve 430 blessed couples centering on our couple. That is the most central responsibility, and we don't have the answers to that yet, but we will. But we should understand also it's a time that's dangerous because we are no longer simply under true parents' grace and we can just continue to just go along and not make our 430 and not uh, fulfill what really we need to do and not become true parents. We have to become true parents now ourselves. We really do. And we have to also win our younger generations to understand that. We are the Israelites. And we are the Israelites of the Chanukuk era. The central people of Israel were the Israelites and central people in the New Testament providence was Christianity. That responsibility is transferred to us. We are a humble group. We don't have a large number of people. We have a large number compared to other singular denominations or churches, but not in terms of all of Christendom. Or We are that people. So I'm grateful to you that you're staying faithful and centering on Reverend Edgerly as our pastor and also our district uh, pastor, Reverend Hempelwitz, is here. I mean, this is really serious business. I can't tell you how serious it is right now. You know uh, our members are being attacked spiritually. And incredible battles are going on in people's spiritual life to decide, do I believe in true parents? Or am I going to have my understanding of true parents transformed to some other understanding and lose faith in everything Father taught us? Father said true parents are one. Father completed everything through his oneness with true mother. You can't have true parents. So on that foundation for me and Dr. Balcom and Dr. Kim, we love you. We love you. That's why we're here. 